Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In the last video where I did show you how you can took the points from Naseworks port and then insert a Revit family on those places. Antonio did ask me if the script works with shared coordinates. I did propose some method that it will work. So even if you did create the previous script, I did propose the method how uh, you can sort some things up in order for script to work with shared coordinates but I did agree with Antonio uh, that's not a good workflow so I did correct slightly that script so now the corrected version works with the shared coordinates so first things first uh, now in this example we have architecture and structure Revit links uh, inside the model, we are inside the MEP model. So now I did place a project based point somewhere in the model, and I did also add uh, angle to true north. Now, survey and project based point are not on the same place where we have internal origin. Let's just show where we have internal origin. Also, I did place survey point somewhere in the model, and then I did that for all three Revit models. So I did this in the MEP model, then I did go to the architecture and set the same also for the structure. Then I did export Navisworks with following uh, settings. So we are using shared coordinates. And I did export the model from the 3D view, and I did export everything in one uh, in one view. Then I did go to the navies. Then I did create a reports, uh, and now we have new XML reports from Navis Works Manage. So now, if we run the script, uh, and I will show you how the script works, then I will show you also changes inside the Dynamo. So we are running now XML to Revit shared. And we need uh, again to select XML file. Let's go with I don't know, architecture versus MEP. We don't want to create 3D views. We want to use the arrow and we can set up our view template, but we will not create 3D views. So that final setting is not relevant. So now we will have the arrows on the points where uh, MEP creates a clashes with architecture in quotes. Those are not actually collisions, but okay. Let's now check structure versus MEP. Still, let's say we don't want to create 3D views, or if you want, you can, but then these settings will be applicable, and we want to insert this clash arrow. And when you want to create 3D views, it will take some time for Dynamo to do it. So now we have. Uh, those arrows on the places where we have MP installation with a structural element and also we did now uh, create uh, all those views with the clashes and finally let's also test MP versus MEP okay we don't want collisions that's it and we have those two clashes over here so a lot of uh, same stuff like we did have in the previous video so that's why i just go quickly through this video and now i'll open dynamo to show you the difference inside the script so 99 percent of the script did remain the same entire procedure and all the nodes you can see in my last video the only thing that I did change inside this script is this node over here. So previously we did have list flattened that will go to the family instance by point. And now because we have points somewhere in the model and inside the Dynamo you will have points related to internal origin. So we just need to convert that to server point and then you can use those uh, points to insert the families. Uh, so now I will delete our arrows so we can just test this. Uh, 
for example if we if we just have the same script like we did have uh, in the previous video where we did talk about the script so if we now do this uh, and we did export share coordinates and we have share coordinates and now if I say okay create me our families uh, on the places where I have uh, MVP collisions so I have some points if I go to the model you can see that we have those uh, families on the wrong place and now if we say okay we did use this node and if we deliver those points to this node over here and we run again now you can see that we have those families on correct place and again basically that is the only change between uh, that script that we did have uh, in the previous video regarding this script and now thank you for watching bye